the so-called uh, Latin tribes, you know, so-called Indian tribes, mm -hmm. you know, and all and many other different things that they found on this, uh, this side of the world that, that gives credence that, that, that they're Israelites. Historical books like this that are bringing out information of things that, that the so-called Europeans, the Edomites, have encountered when they came over here and, and uh, uh, saw and mixed among the uh, Israelites that were here. So it says, and the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And that's why we're reading this information to show you how the Most High fulfilled the prophecy of, of the, of the, uh, of the uh, earth helping the woman by swallowing the flood that the dragon cast out against her. So there, boy. Now here, um, it says here, uh, page 127, it says Mexican mythology. But it was reserved for Viscount Kingsborough. That's him. Who yeah. gathered all the testimonies into a single volume to become the real propounder of the theory that would trace to a Semitic source those Indians' customs and traditions. Yeah, that's called Antiquities of Mexico. That's what they, he labeled that, uh, at, I believe it was an eight volume book. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Thus he writes, it is impossible on reading what Mexican mythology records of the war in heaven and of the fall of Zontemoc, which that's, I, I believe, their version of, of Satan. That's how the Mexicans, Mexican mythology, excuse me. <coughs> and uh, the other rebellious spirits of the creation of light by the word of Tonakatikulti uh, and of the division of the waters of the sin it says, uh, this word I barely, I really can't pronounce it. Yet, tal, talaku, hukui. Uh, just do the best you can. And his yeah, blindness, yeah, yeah. it said, yet, yet, talaku, hukui, and his yeah, blindness. That sound right to me. And nakedness of the temptation yes. of Suchik Kwiko, and her disobedience in gathering roses from a tree, and of the consequent misery and disgrace of herself and all her posterity. Not to recognize scriptural analogies but the Mexican tradition of the deluge which is the flood is that which bears unequivocal marks of having been derived from a Hebrew source the Viscount then de develops the Mexican idea of the deluge and its subsequent events such as the Tower of Babel and the dispersion of nations in parallel with the Bible story yeah so how the hell did they know about that stuff because they were on their side of the world. Right. They yep. were in Israel, in, in Samaria. They were once reading the Torah. Right. They were once reading the Torah. They, they knew were the once a, a, keeping the Passover. Mm -hmm. You know, they were once wearing the fringes and the borders of blue and the garments and the breeches, you know, and coming before the uh, public assembly of the priests when Ezra was reading the, the, the uh, or should I say, you know, going back, um, Ezra was reading. The uh, the uh, books of the law in front of, of in front of the uh, Israelites at that time, but then when they were around, during, even going before that, during the time of Moses, during the time of Moses and uh, uh, Aaron and them, yeah. they was being read the law back then, you know. So all that stuff goes back to them. Yeah, because remember when when they it tells you what, what's it that Second Kings when it says they were gonna leave leave uh, Assyria. Go to a land. It's in Ezra's. Oh, that's in, in, in Ezra's. And, and as a matter of fact, I think I got it. Yeah, bring it out. And, and it tells you that they, the reason why they're going to go there, which I'm going to read it, was to right. keep the laws. So now, you ask those, where, 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 where was that place at then? Where did, yeah. where, where did they go at this point? And I bet you, and, you know, <laughs> I bet you that, that when the Spaniards came over here, and mainly the Spaniards, because they're the ones that f first had contact with our people here. I bet you when they first came over here, they probably found books of the law here, actual books of the yep. law. And when they saw it, they was amazed and they burned them. Because yep. a lot of those records, they burned. So when they, they saw did. them with the, with the books of the Torah, with, with not books, with the scrolls, they burned them things. Because they knew, they said, wait a minute, how the hell did these people get these scrolls? Where did they come from? Right. You know? Well, well, and, and they knew though. Yeah. And a lot of them, they, they, a lot of them knew. Yep, that's right. They, they, were, they were brief, they knew where they was going, they knew what they were going to count the tribe, they didn't know probably what state they were going to be in or whatever because right. it's, it's been some years or whatever since they had people had contact with them. Only people that had recorded contact with them at that time was like the Vikings and maybe certain like Hamites that were coming back and forth still trading, right? right? But now this is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 13, uh, I started 39. 
It says, and whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him, those are the ten tribes. And see, and again, that's why they, they had to get the Apocrypha from out of the Bible. Right. This section, they had to take this section out because this is going into to the history, just like we're reading in these books. It's going into deep history. Deep history. Breaking it down, making it making it crystal clear, as uh, Elder Ariya used to say. Yep. All right? Now it says, verse 40, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, mm -hmm. which that links right back up with 2 Kings, the 17th chapter. It says, whom Salmanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land, mm -hmm. which which was what the land of Assyria, right. where, where pretty much they were put in, put in slavery, right. and, and, and they knew why they were in slavery because they were transgressing transgressing the laws and commandments of the Most High. No, no, go ahead, brother. There's one more point yeah. I want to. When yep. you get there's a point there I want to I want to address once you get to it. Con. So it says. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen, which were the Assyrians they were in captivity under. Right. It says, and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. That's right. That's the key. Where never mankind dwelt. Right. Which is over here in America, which was known as the land of uh, Canaan, or where you get Canaan from, yep. which means the unknown. Right. Yep, that's why Canada was kind of ain't da. Right. Can, can, uh, can, the fourth Canaan. Right. Because da is a, is a fourth letter in the Hebrew alphabet. So Canaan is kind of ain't da or the fourth Canaan. So all this land was pretty much known as Canaan because one of the uh, uh, um, one of the uh, terminologies or definitions of the word Canaan was unknown. You know, you had low land and right. then you had unknown. So this was like an unknown land at the time. Yep. You know, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it rolling. We you know this the battery's probably about to die in another 15 minutes or so. We're gonna keep it rolling, you know, as long as we can. If it cuts off, it cuts off. So go ahead, brother. Cut. It Hell says it says uh that they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. So now they're going to this land where never mankind dwelt to keep the statutes that they never kept in their own land. How are they gonna know of the statutes? They're gonna bring books. Of the mm -hmm. law, they're gonna bring scrolls, should I say, of the law, right. over here to this side of the world. So when the Spaniards mm -hmm. came here, because it tells you when you read the history that they burnt a lot of their books and a lot of their yeah. history. That's why there was not much that was left. So some of the uh, um, some of the uh, accounts that uh, Viscount, uh, what was his name, Viscount uh, uh, Kingsborough, Viscount Kingsborough, that he wrote down was accounts that the the so-called Spaniards had wrote down concerning these people here you yeah. know going back to James Adair uh, John uh, James Adair I'm sorry not John Adair James Adair and 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 uh, and other uh, um, um, Spaniards and different sources of different your Euro, so-called European or Edomite sources and he put them all down why so they because they, they burnt all the records so it's very possible well no not po they did bring uh, the books of the law over here yeah to keep yeah. it you know because one of the customs of the law was what every Sabbath you had to read the Torah right to the people you know and make them understand it so if, if, if they were coming to, to keep those laws they they had to they brought them over here not had to they brought them over here and the proof of it that is uh, when they went down to Mexico and really different parts yeah they seen them what Peru Peru uh, I, don't, I don't know Espanola Yep. Certain parts they seen them rehearsing right. the, the law, the Sabbath service. Yep. They were reading out of the Torah. They were saying the uh, the, the, the chant, the Shema Yashallah. Yep. The, uh, you know? the sanctuary, the Holy of Holies. The Holy of Holy. They had all of that, but the fucking Spaniards burnt it up. Yep. They're the ones that burnt it up. Okay. Right. It says. It says that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. Right. It says, and they entered into the Euphrates. Mm -hmm by the narrow passage of the river for the most high then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over right that's right because so, those waters are rough and, and treacherous that's right and the most high held back the storms so that way they were able to pass over and as a matter of fact the way that they came like we said in the last video they came under the horn of africa yep so 